holding you that, up. That's what was holding Stop you up. Stop it. That's how you go down in that mine, and you get in that you get in that uh, saddle. They call it a saddle. Oh you lock God. in, and then the the guy was at the other end with a jeep. Uh, with a winch and let the oh let the winch out. Well, you know what? I pr your angels are working overtime for you, my friend. But Jay King travels the world, bringing us the most exotic and unique mine finds. And if you're a jewelry lover, a gemstone collector, you always tune in for his shows. He's been here since Friday. Still, 90% of our show is brand new, and so it's such a treat to be able to buy a treasure and then be able to tell that story. Stay with us this last hour. I've got so many goodies coming up. In fact, look here. Take a look at what we've got for you because I've got a set. Not only are you getting a long strand of amethyst, but you're getting the matching earrings as well. I shop J. King all the time. How many times have you bought a bracelet or a necklace and you're saying, gosh, I wish I had the matching earrings? We did the work for you. You get both of the most finest saturated amethyst uh, for $119.98. Of course, the five flex means $24 gets at home. And if you're a purple girl, this is some of the finest amethyst, 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 mm -hmm. Ooh, sounds mm -hmm. special, uh, that you can get your hands on. 672-362 is your item number. How many sets remain, Erin? Less than 500 of these remaining, you guys. If you want it, please jump in. 672-362 is your item number. Also coming up, you mean the amber? Look at this, you guys. Because mm -hmm. when you think that this amber is what millions? This is of... well. This it's it's carbon dated. You know what? Do you know what carbon yeah. dating is? Yeah. Okay. Carbon dating is uh, the way that they can tell the age of anything. It's it's a it's a process, a radioactive process that they do to test. They date this material back to 30 to 50 million years old. 30 um, so, to 50 million I mean, years old? I know old? that sounds like like give or take 20 million, but, <laughs> <laughs> but the reason I, I generalize in 30 to 50 million years old, oh uh, gosh, uh, amber, that's just general in amber uh, when this was formed. This could have been formed 30 million years ago. It could be form, formed 50 million years ago or anywhere in between. That's just a general, you're looking at something that's <laughs> Basically, 30 to 50 million. I want to show old. you what Pat wrote in all capital letters. O M G. <laughs> you guys, this is it. The final quantities. Aaron, how many did you say? Less than 300 on this triple strand of beautiful. It's like wearing three strands of golden honey around your neck. Appraised. The lowest price we got back was $400. Today, you pay $46, and you own this treasure. This is a piece of history, frozen in time if you want it. Uh, it's available for you, but that's it. Final 300 left. Let's dive into our very first hour, I mean our very first item of the third hour. 50% uh, off today. This is Andean Blue Turquoise on these brilliant, very cool cross earrings. Now, of course, you've got the four cushion cuts there. These are pierced with the clutch backs. And do I have the necklace as well? Oh, yeah. The necklace is that 18 inch strand with the pendant included. So when it says very unique. when it says necklace, you actually get the pendant also. There you go. And this is again, <laughs> this is one of these crazy crazy things that they do. Are we are we talking about this? Yeah, okay. we're talking about the set. All yeah. right. So this is my design. <coughs> it's um, beautiful, Jay. You have to understand in 43 years, um, the, the two things, I don't care who you are, if you're in the jewelry industry and if you're a designer, okay. Uh, which I'm not, I don't consider myself a top of the line designer. I'm, I'm okay, right? <laughs> I have my look and I'm good with it. Um, this is my cross design. Um, I, 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 you know, but um, crosses and hearts, every, if you look at any really uh, high end designer, well known designer, you'll always see, if you go back in their history, you will see where they design crosses or hearts. They're two of the most popular silhouettes in the world. So, Here's the deal. In 43 years of designing crosses, right, the, to come up with something that's really different that you haven't done before is virtually impossible. And I'm really proud of the fact that I was able to do that in this case. Uh, I also hand-selected the material for this. This is Andean Blue. This was designed as part of our gallery collection. This is what I want to call... Uh, again, when they do in these clearances, okay, this was made for the gallery. We sold, um, uh, when we do this, you have, we have a niche business. We're, we're doing this, um, even the, the prices that we normally sell them for are way below you could ever, ever even imagine getting this just because we're the manufacturer and we're bringing it directly here to you. There's no middle men before. We, mm. can, we cut, cut all the stones. We do uh, all, from rough material, we do all the silver work, all of our silversmiths, all the designing done in-house. You can't get any cleaner than that. 
Um, so when I come on and then I see this now, we're just down to the last of the last. I can't believe you the couldn't next, even I can't buy the materials. 79. You couldn't buy the silver. You couldn't buy the cost of the turquoise rough material for the necklace and pendant and even come and, close to that. And, Same thing with the earrings. So this is your chance to have something it. that's an amazing gallery piece and get it at just what I... I'm, I'm not supposed to say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway, but I always call this a stupid price. And yeah, it really yeah. is just, really, it's ridiculous. It's bananas. That, that you, you'll never ever see anything like this that's this crawling, and this is the real deal. Okay, this, this is the real deal. Yeah. And these and, truly are gallery, gallery pieces. And Jay, I just have to say, 150 left of the necklace. If you want it, jump in. And and Donna wanted to say, please uh, explain stabilization. Okay. So she says, let Jay. I let Jay do whatever he wants, by the way. I just We just moved on. But let's explain stabilization, because okay, it's I'm, a big okay. deal. Okay, I could, I could give a talk on this, and I've actually given talks on it. That uh, and I could talk about it for an hour and um, and probably still never so I'm gonna make it really, really simple. And this is what stabilization is. What you're doing is you're stabilizing the material. So in most, let's just go with turquoise, so not to confuse you, okay? With turquoise, you want it stabilized. You want the turquoise stabilized. You do not want it natural. And what stabilization is, is this, in this case, it was um, actually, do you know that the uh, Egyptians, the pharaohs, when they find turquoise in the artifacts and the turquoise is still gorgeous blue, it's stabilized. Amazing. They stabilized it with beeswax. Then they wow. sealed it. Okay, now, of course, because, you know, modern technology, we're able to stabilize. And what you do is turquoise is a hydrated stone. So what you do is you take, you don't change the color. You're not enhancing it, you're not dyeing it, you're not changing it. You're taking the natural rough, you are slowly but surely taking the water content out of it and you're replacing that with either a silica or a chemical that seals it. So all you're doing is removing the water molecules and the reason you oh, wanna smart, do that smart. is because it seals it. So it, if, you, if you buy it and it's blue, it's gonna remain that color for the rest of, right? of its life. And it's not gonna change colors on you. Because of the oils in your hands, the cosmetics, pollution, everyday life, oxidation, if you don't, if you get natural turquoise and no. it's high blue, I guarantee you in, in about five years, it'll be green. Yeah, and here's, the, by the way, thank you, Pat. Pat actually replied to Donna as well. And this information is on the HSN website and Pat actually posted it for us. So Pat, you're a dear. Thank you very much. Um, and by the way, final what, Aaron, 70? In the... Oh, the necklace is sold out. We're down to the earrings only. The earrings are half off, you guys, and they are really just gorgeous. They're easy to wear. They've got just a little bit of length in there. Uh, no prongs, nothing that's gonna scratch or catch on anything, and just a unique way to wear a cross where it's not in your face, but it's certainly there, so I find a great way to wear your faith as well, and designed by Jay Kings, if you're a collector. Wonderful way to do that. Um, we wanna move on and just give you a peek because we've got this multi- layered uh, multi-gem strands uh, that are coming up. Did you say less than 100? Less than 300. You know what we have here? And by the way, I have matching earrings. We have amethyst, we have spinel, and we have that, chrome what diopside. they call the Russian emerald, right? The chrome diopside. <gasps> Look at how pretty this is, Jay. Okay, you, you know, you're a GIA grad. Yes, ma'am. You know, how special yes, is this? <laughs> it's one of the exotics that we never have enough of. <laughs> right, right. Right? So this was on her exam. Trust me. All <laughs> it three, sure was. All three of these materials were, were on her exam, I guarantee it. Oh so gosh. here's what makes this unique and makes this special. Okay, so you got black spinel. Uh, that comes from Thailand. You got, which here again, I will coin this, I've heard this, but the Russian emerald, in, which is a chrome diopside. It's not emerald, but it's chrome diopside, but that's what right. they refer to it as yeah. the Russian emerald. Yep. Uh, you got um, that material uh, I'm getting out of Madagascar. Everybody that ever sees it goes uh, uh, bonkers. And then you got that beautiful Zambian amethyst. So you got all three of these natural materials all combined together. And, um, and just so you know, okay, yeah, look at these. These are all hand faceted. Do you, see, do you see them sparkle and gleam? Think about this. They actually work this material with tweezers. Oh my they gosh, have surgical Jay. tweezers and they facet. Do you see she's just barely moving it? Let's just barely, barely, any mm, little thing. So think of this, it's around too. your neck, 
and you're moving through different light sources or if you're just moving in any light source or any, you know, just, it, it's not dark. It's gonna sparkle, it's gonna gleam. It is, and by the way, I have matching earrings as well, which I popped on and they're this great little kind of hoop earring or, or pearl shape drop. Um, those are available, but you gotta, you know, like all J. King, everything is so limited. You gotta jump in and that multi-strand just fills in the neckline beautifully. We'll give you a full presentation on that. We're moving on to the orbicular chalcedony pieces. And, and I do have drop earrings, I have a ring, and I also have a necklace as well, but final quantities of that with 217 left. So let's explain what orbicular chalcedony is, Jay. We've got great prices. Uh, you can see the appraisal values there. It's 083971. Really that, beautiful you, and earthy, right? Uh, if we could like even, like if you want to show, just show the difference, because it, it's, yeah. re it's really... Um, I, it takes a little explanation here on what you're getting. Do you see this? Okay, look at these. You see the ring. Uh, if I showed you 12 of those rings, if I so, showed you 12 of these necklaces and pendants, if I showed you these earrings, you're gonna see they're all uniquely different in their own right. There is no two of them, it's impossible. This is a brand new Kelsidney. It comes, um, it, it, it's a brand new mine find. It actually comes out of Madagascar. Um, this is a really unique material and it's, you know, calcedonies come in a, in a myriad of colors. Mm, um, just, just a vast amount of colors you can get calcedonies in. This is a very, just like we had the um, brecciated uh, calcedony, right. right? So that it was brecciated. This is obicular. What's obicular? Obicular means when it was formed and it went through the, uh, the meta metamorphosis process, you get these swirls. Same thing, it's a secondary process. So you get the swirls within cool. the material and it has little orbs, little bird's eyes, almost like a rhyolite, not formed the same way, but kind of that just gives you a general, um, you know, the, that's, the reason they call it orbicular is because you have, or, um, you have little round like orbits, swirl, right? swirl mm -hmm. patterns okay. going through it. Right, and it's, it's just how it's formed. It's all part of the, the formation of the material. This is brand new, um, and then also brand new designs, brand new and exclusive. Um, if you're if you're the, the kind of person that likes to have, if you like to have things that nobody else has, right? Mm -hmm. And I guarantee, you, okay, um, I pretty much I put some money on this. Go to any of your any jewelry store, right? Uh. Even out in my neck of the woods, right, where you would think you you that you know you'd have every material. Because I mean, I live in I live in jewelry heaven, right? In um, New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado. I mean, th that's mm. where so many uh, jewelers are. You know, a lot of uh, people that make custom. Um, uh, jewelry designs and ask them uh, to see how, uh, I'd like to see something in obic uh, obicular Cal Sydney yeah. and see how many how many pieces they show you. They say, huh? What? <laughs> I think they, oh, who? The, the, yeah, I think the response is, huh? Or what? what? Scratching uh, so, the head. Uh, and that's why I like these. I, I love the designs. They're, you know, the very contemporary, very upscale. Those Again, are you see the gallery effect here. And when I say mm. gallery, these are really uh, something that you would go to a gallery that you would see, you know, a one of a kind designer would be designing. And that's our roots. That's that's our history. That's that's how we all started. Is we were um, we all were uh, sold to galleries. We made one of a kind uh, pieces. That's how the, how we all kicked this off. So this is a beautiful Madagascar find. The earrings are eighty nine ninety eight. They're a little under two inches in the length, um, and it's eighteen dollars to get home. The ring, by the way, in sizes five through twelve, uh, we do have it uh, for eighteen dollars on any credit card and these are brand new. Now we're moving right on to that necklace and yes, it comes with that pendant as Jay said, 19 inches in the length with a two and three quarter inch extender. That pendant alone is about two and an eighth of an inch and I've got about 200 of these remaining. And Jay, you just gotta hear what our ladies and gentlemen are saying on Facebook Live. Ammo says, uh, Jay, uh, can you consider making uh, decorative hairpins? I'd love to rock some of your gems in my hair too. Me too. Okay. Oh my gosh, I would love that. And then another customer said, I would absolutely subscribe to specimen boxes. Okay, I, I can do cool? both of those. When you say hair pins, are you talking actually a pin or like it would have to be like a barrette because I could I can't make anything pointed. Right. Um, so I, I you know that it would just cause too many issues. What but a great I idea, could do right? barrettes. I'm doing anklets right now. I, I, I tell you, somebody won the anklets so in July cool. show. Emma, what so a great idea. We we do we you know I, I will look at everything you're posting. 
And what we do, that's really great. It really kind of gives me some guidance. Um, yeah. And you know what? I never thought, I used to make a lot of sterling <laughs> silver custom berets. Um, Isn't so, that cool? yeah, I could do that. that would I be love cool. that. Decorative hair. Uh, specimen boxes. Yeah. We're, um, we're already way way ahead of you there, but I appreciate that. We oh, will be doing. Uh, we're doing. Oh, we're trying to. We've already got a bunch of designs. We're trying to get the price down to where we we feel uh, comfortable. Uh, by the way, uh, who was it that said I'd been shopping your? Oh, Janice says, Jay, I've been buying your beautiful jewelry since 1999. So if you ever run out, I can sell you some. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people have actually sent us. You Love know, it all. 24 years. That's Do you know, funny. like in Tucson last year, people were sending in their collections. Do you know, it was it was like me, I got flashbacks. That's People cool. that have been actually collecting from day one, there was designs there that I'd forgot that we had ever done. I love that. And then you look at materials and it, and it just brings back all the, the materials that are no longer available, that you can't even buy that, that people had in their collections. I like that. I appreciate that. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be sitting here Let's being see. able to do what I love. Uh, we adore you, Jay, and so do they at home. Um, by the way, uh, really, really beautiful and very popular right here on the orbicular chalcedony. And okay, I see mean, the orbs? There it is. Okay, there cool? you go. See the bullseyes? Yeah. Okay, and that, okay, and it, it's in the material and it's in different colors, but that, that is uh, orbicular. That's mm. what you mean, and it's a chalcedony. It's a, a chalcedony. So all the materials of chalcedony, uh, yeah, no matter what color it is, it's still chalcedony. But when, you, when um, the bullseye's in there, that's why they call it obicular. That's mm. what it means. It's like the bullseye. And, you know, remember, if you're shopping with J. King, no two will ever be alike. You know, it's Mother Nature's palette. It's God's palette. You know, it, it is which one chooses you, and that's part of the excitement. And then to be able to tell that story that we learn so much of from J. Uh, remember, all J. King is on five flex, which means if you're new to HSN, Everybody qualifies for FlexPay. It's any debit card, any credit card. You get this beautiful masterpiece home for $32. It's a find from Madagascar. And you get all these beautiful, saturated, gorgeous earth tones in a pattern that only God can make. If you want it, it's 676194. Aaron, how many did you say if you were than 200 on this beautiful piece? So 19 inches in the length, two and three quarter inch extender. If you want it, you gotta jump in. Uh, we've got a little goodie for you that we don't have time for a presentation, but I just have to tell you because look at the appetite. It's like it glows and it's so rare and so rare to get this quality, Jay. I can't believe you did a whole 18 inch strand. Okay, this, is, this isn't this is neon appetite, but it's close to it. Oh, and gosh, um, since Leslie is a GI grit, yeah. She knows the deal on appetite, wow. right? On, on these materials, they're very expensive, they're very dense, they're very heavy. Um, the molecular composition is very, very compact on them. Um, this is another one of those things um, uh, that is, this is really truly uh, one of those opportunity buys. Uh, this is one of my Bra Brazilian miners. Um, he has shown me this material over and over and over. Um, I buy a lot of my peridot, I buy a lot of my colored quartz is from him. He mines a lot of that, he has a lot of the claims. This is something he does. I never buy it because it's just cost prohibitive. Normally, if I bought this at the regular cost of the rough material, literally would be at least double, if not triple the price. I see, at, I believe at it. At least double, if not triple. Jeez, um, like I just, um, he just, uh, for some reason, he needed uh, a little extra cash. When I was there, we were we were buying the quartz, and we were able to do that. By the way, that was appraised at two hundred and twenty-five dollars. So if you want it, uh, please jump in. What a treat to be able to get all of that high-quality appetite there. We're moving on to that necklace everybody's been waiting for. If you love rare and exotics, look at that glowing green of that Russian chrome diopside. You also have that glittering black spinel, the beautiful amethyst. This is brand new and appraised at three hundred and ten dollars. Today, you pay $37 and you get this multi-strand home. Okay, so what we've co combined here, and um, uh, like Leslie was saying, uh, the chrome diopside, they, they call that Russian emerald. This actually material comes from Madagascar. Uh, it's really, really difficult to get it, and especially in that grade, uh, where it's it just vibrant, it's like almost like glow in the dark. You've got the Zambian amethyst, and then you've got this black sp uh, spinel from Thailand. So, you know, if you think about just the logistics of putting this design together, so you've got, you know, we had we had to go to Thailand, um, we went to Madagascar, and we went to Zambia, so we went to Africa. 
So you had to go to three different countries, three different continents, if you think about it, just to get the materials to be able to put this together and do the final design. What amazes me on this, I laid these out together and then I wanted to do kind of this effect. I combined all three colors together, uh, laid it out to where it could be simple for you. Something that's very kind of, it's very kind of contemporary. Um, I would say even teetering on exotic, okay? Uh, as far as even the materials, you can see how it layers and lays. I want you to think about this, okay? The skill level that is necessary to, to actually accomplish this. Mm -hmm. They have to take the rough crystals. They take the small rough crystals. These are really small crystals. They take the, the material. They have surgical tweezers that gotcha. lock and they hand facet each one of those. Oh my gosh. That's how they do it. They're, this is not done by a machine. They're, they actually hand facet every one of them. If you notice them, they're not uniform in size. Did you notice mm -hmm. that? Yeah. That, that's because they're all cut from the natural. They're not all the same size. You see some are bigger, some are smaller. That's because they're cutting them actually from that piece of crystal or that little crystal that it was. These were real small crystals that we had left gotcha. over. And then they took them and work them with tweezers. They don't actually do this. I can't afford for them to sit there and, and do this all the time. This is a project that probably went on for uh, probably three, four years. Mm. They, <clears throat> when they have downtime and they don't have anything to, that you're really pending or to do, the cutters, they would actually start cutting these. Mm. They would start fastening them. It's very time consuming. And then we went ahead, we put them together stringing. Think about how to layer this and stringing this and all these little small beads and be able to put this together. Their it's poor really eyes. phenomenal. I mean, and not only that, you get that exotic chrome diopside, which frankly, I wish we got it more often. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, seven beautiful strands and they fill in the neckline so beautifully and they glitter as if they were lit up. So hard to find, but we've got the final quantities there. And here are the matching earrings. I just wanted to give you a little glimpse because you know, head into holiday or heading into the cooler months where we're looking for textures and color and, and just richness. Aren't these pretty? Final 150, actually less than 150 now. $79.98 brings them home. It's just $16 on a credit card payment. And I want to look down for a second because I wanted to tell you the measurement on these. They're, they're about a little bit like under three inches on the length here on these three pear-shaped loops that are basically bonded with that little end cap. And then you've got that French wire there. So glittery, so pretty. I just gotta move a little bit or take a breath or, and they just sparkle and come alive. I love the color combination. I love the quality of those gems. So even if they were using tweezers, Jay really got us the very best our money can buy. Uh, this is new and exclusive at 676-150. If you love that black spinel amethyst and that chrome diopside, which they call the Russian emerald. Um, $16 uh, on any debit or credit card to go ahead and bring those loop earrings home. Uh, quick little update for all of us that are in love and obsessed with fashion. The one and only Diane Gilman is anchoring our day with a pant that I already bought in the olive green, Diane. Thank you very much. This is her stretch twill cargo jegging. And in fact, how many minutes, like 30 minutes away, you'll get another encore presentation of our best value. Almost aired 19,000 gone uh, since midnight. They are amazing. They've got the stretch. They've got the comfort. They really hug you in all the right places. They've got the right rise and the right rise on the back as well. So, you know, Diane Gilman fits you like it's a custom pant. These are new. These are exciting. And today, $44.99, $11.25 on a credit card. 083732 is your item number. We still have so much more Jay King to show you, but I did want to let you know that coming up, when is it? Tomorrow. Uh, we've got a brand new today special from Kitchen HQ. Now this is our HSN exclusive culinary tools brand, uh, and you only find it here at HSN. We've got a two quart pressure cooker, which is gonna simplify your life when it comes to meal time. It's gonna let you prepare that delicious dinner in a fraction of time. It's compact, it's easily stored away. And that's gonna be our today's special uh, tomorrow. So make sure you check in with Kitchen HQ as well. You can start shopping right now. Uh, Beauty Report is one of our favorite shows at HSN. Take a listen to this, more Jay King after the bump. <laughs> Discover a world of beauty like you've never seen before. Beauty Report is the insider's guide to getting gorgeous. Join me every Wednesday night for a beautiful new routine.
You can't afford not to be brave. It's not even an option. When life puts a wall in front of you, you break it down. Remove the fear. Remove the uncertainty. Be authentic. They say fortune favors the bold. I've been bold all my life, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Share the love. Use the newest feature on the HSN app to share all your fabulous finds with your friends and family. Find an item, click the arrow in the top right corner, and share it via text, Facebook, and more. Download the app and share away. our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search gemstone to see our gemstone enhancement chart. Delighting. Oh, there's our Dana girl looking good. That's our stylist, Miss Dana. She's fabulous. She makes us look great. We love you. Uh, and we love Jay King. If you're shopping with us, Jay King is our gemstone explorer traveling to the most remote and exotic places to bring us pieces like these. And uh, if you love oyster shell, I know that every time that we have anything spiny oyster, it sells out, Jay. Well, look at this because this is a beautiful 18 inch strand of turquoise and oyster shell at the lowest price ever. I would say an opportunity buy. We're, we're over a hundred dollars off our appraised value. And that was the lowest we got back. Yeah, this is in here again. Um, <clears throat> this goes back, this is Azure Peak, so it's the Mongolian turquoise. It's more on the green side, the teal uh, size. Uh, and then I've used spiny oyster. Both, both this design and the spiny oyster, um, anytime I do this or spiny, it gives me flashbacks. <laughs> 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 uh, to uh, times of younger days when my hair was much longer and black, <laughs> not gray. Um, this was actually, um, um, this design, not this necklace in particular, this design was actually the first piece of jewelry I ever made. Yeah. That was, it was my very first. Uh, I did, it was the very, very first thing I ever did on my own. Um, and we used to make them in turquoise, funny enough, and we also did them in puka shell and different things that we could get. Later on, uh, you know, we used to go down um, to Mexico, to the Baja, we used to go down to Wymas and San Carlos and we would dive. That's when you could, you can't do it anymore. But we used to uh, we used to literally go down there and live on the beach. Um, the only thing that we we didn't ever we didn't even take um, you, we went we dove and that's how we that's what we ate that night. I wow. mean you know so and then um, we would trade uh, a lot of times we get fish and then uh, we'd spear fish and we'd take them into town and we'd trade them for shrimp or whatever mm. um, or in some cases beer. <laughs> so, <laughs> Just a few and, random and moments. That's when I got introduced to spiny oyster <laughs> is because the spiny oyster, they used to just pile those shells on the beach. You could, you, anybody could pick them up. It's not like that anymore, trust me. Right. Uh, but back then there was no use for them. They were, the locals were harvesting them for the oyster, the actual meat, They're, they are an oyster. Um, but this design is timeless, okay? It is. Every time that we do it, I, I did this, and it, you know, I, it, it brings back so many good memories. And mm. uh, literally, I'm there, we are still manufacturing this in the exact same way that we did 
back in the day, in, I, in the this 70s. This is a J. King legacy piece. Well, I mean, you no, okay, have to, I'm not, right? okay, I'm not saying I invented this, okay? No, of course but, not, but, but if this is the first design you okay, did, we love and, you and collect you well, so much. Well, but the, you're, you're still a youngster, right? Ah. But you're, no, you're a youngster, okay? <laughs> um, but there are people in my generation, and, and all of us, we know who we are, right? <laughs> I guarantee you, uh, be male or female, you've worn this design at one time in your life. Absolutely. If you if you if you went to college in the 70s, like I did in the early 70s, uh, late 60s, early 70s, uh, everybody had one of these, and a lot of them have multiples. You know, it's really funny. Um, they uh, they did this uh, thing on us. I think it, when it was my 20th, four years ago, it was my 20th anniversary, and they wanted us to 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 uh, we had to do something weird. Do you have any original designs? Wow. Funny enough, I went back. I went back, and in my trunk, like my keepsake trunk. Um, I had my original one that I wore, wow. and I, I literally almost wore this out, wore it to death. It still fits perfectly. Um, it looks great, um, and but um, I, you know, like if you go back during that time in my life, I didn't take a lot of photos, and I don't really know why. Mm -hmm. But you just didn't take a lot of pictures back then, or they didn't survive. One of the two. But um, if, so any cool. of the pictures that you have of me in college, I have that around my neck in oh. most cases. Oh, today you'd be all over Instagram and Facebook, right? Well, but I got to tell you, but like this is perfect. You've seen a lot of guys, especially, I go to a lot of tropical places, yeah. okay? But I also go to a lot of Western places, you know, like, uh, in fact, I just came back from Alaska, and the, um, this is a, almost a lot of the a lot of the guys were wearing and these. And you know, I did want to say Ralph actually posted on our Facebook. He said, "Jay, how about an hour of just men's jewelry?" And Ralph, I mean, there are many of Jay King pieces, including the cuffs, that Jay says, "I wear this. I would wear this." And and this is one of them, right? You what know, a great Ralph, example. You, you know, I hear you. I hear you, brother. I mean, um, it would be just so you know, I don't own HSN, so that would be tough. But we have brought that up, and we're we're gonna we're, we've done done men's designs, every time we've done it, um, they, they've always sold out, but I always point out when mm. I make things that, that I would wear, uh, you know, and you know, like you can wear, you know, anybody, I'm not saying that just what I would wear would be what you would wear. You can make your mm. own choice on what oh, you do. Yeah. We had, um, I think it was Steve that called in yeah. and um, he's a musician. Oh, there you and, go. And he, wear, he buys a lot of the beaded necklaces and stuff, and he's a musician. Yeah. And, of course, he does his own little kind of thing with it. But, um, but he said, yeah, a lot of the musicians See, so there you go, Ralph. And this is a, I say it's a legendary legacy piece. Yeah. It's but the this, first this design This is something, made. it's a transition piece. Yeah. Anybody can wear this. But specifically, I like I said, I have a long history with this. Mm -hmm. And even manufacturing and everything, we're still doing it the exact same way that I did it back when I first started making How jewelry. How fun. And by the way, 18 inches in the length, Ralph, if you're interested, with the two and three quarter inch extender, so it does go to that over 20 inch length, that is Azure Peaks, and that orange spiny oyster. By the way, wanted to give you a peek <coughs> at this. Me. I, we can't even talk about this. Erin, how many? 20 left? 28. You know what this is, you guys? This is multi-sapphire on a sterling silver bead necklace design. $26 gets it home. Did you ever think you could have a strand of multicolored sapphires? And in fact, we know that sapphires are not just blue. In fact, they come in, in a rainbow of colors. And you get this, this beautiful strand. This is actually five different mines. Amazing. So you're looking at five individual mines uh, of the uh, rough, rough stock to put together that one necklace. So uh, that's available for you, but the final 28 there. And then we're moving on to this great little stack of rings. Diane was uh, looking for a stack. Diane, we've got you covered. Unfortunately, I have the final 390 left. Uh, five through 12. Uh, it comes in 5 through 12, and you're not choosing. You get all three of these. You get the sterling silver band with the turquoise, with the lapis, and with the red spiny oyster. It's item number 658720. How fun is this? Because even on its own, right. each so, strand is beautiful. And each they're made for that. And so think of all the different choices that you have that you can wear them. And you're paying a price that you would pay for just one. Right. Okay? So you get all three. And you can wear them together. You can wear them in a multitude. And also, you can actually turn them around and wear the inlay on the bottom if you want to do guard rings just, and do cool. silver. And then you could flip. You could do, flip the turquoise in the middle oh, or yeah, on the or side. The spiny. You, you see, Ooh, yeah. So good there's, idea. So there's a multitude of ways that you could wear this. See, like that, where you got two guard rings. Very so cool. It, there's all kinds of cool, cool things you could do with Very it. Very cool. And sizes five through twelve available on these. I like the idea of this. For example, I have two sisters, so maybe like a friendship band, like one for each 
each sister, uh, you know, wear them together, wear them apart, but they're so much fun and really comfortable. Not all stack rings feel this good, where if somebody shakes my hand, I'm not gonna wince. Yeah, now right? I would on this, to be honest with you, this is one of the uh, the ones the things, and Leslie's really good to point it out. I would go up a size on mm -hmm. this. Just, and it's not that they're not made true to size. They are, but if you can wear all three together, uh, you might want to consider that. Yeah, because then that. you get the muffin top on the finger. Right. Who knew? I don't <laughs> want muffin top anywhere. I just want to <laughs> eat the muffin top. Remember, you get all three of maybe some of Jay's favorites, right? Jay's favorite is the turquoise. Uh, it, of course, one of his, the, the apples of his eye is the lapis. And then you get that red spiny, which is always so popular. And even on its own, like each one of these is so fabulous. And look at how that natural color of that gemstone pops, you know? They're not boring, they're very comfortable to wear. And how many did you say, Erin, now remaining? I know, yeah, I started with like 400 of these, right? I've got 300 and I'm down to sizes six through 11. So I've lost the smallest and the largest. These were appraised very modestly at $185. Today, you're paying $13.98 to get them home. Um, and, and they're just pretty, and that's all natural color. I mean, look at how these pop. They're all the natural materials. So you've got the, um, you got the genuine um, turquoise lapis and then the spiny oyster. And in this case, it's red. So, you know, spiny comes in three colors. It comes in red, uh, orange and purple. Purple being the rarest, red the second rarest, and orange the most predominant. And so how great are these? And if you notice, they've got a, almost like a square edge design. So they're very modern and very fresh, but that also makes them very comfortable to wear, Jay. Like, I, honestly, I don't even feel them on my finger. Um, and that's not easy. Maybe you don't like to wear rings because you're just self-conscious or feel them all day long. These are a dream to wear. Uh, if you want them, everything in Jay King's collection is on five flex today. So it's just a little something, something. You can squirrel it away as a holiday gift or a birthday gift. Six through 10, last call right now, you guys. 658-720 is your item number on the turquoise, lapis, and spiny oyster shell ring set. You're not choosing, you get all of them today. 658-720 is your item number. Uh, uh, in case you missed it, we started with 270 of these beautiful, it's seven strands of some of the most exotics, right? You got the glittering black spinel. You've got that Russian chrome diopside, which is not even, what, they mine it like once a year, Well, Jay? they call it Russian emerald, but it's Madagascar is Ooh, where that material is comes from. Ooh. They call it Russian, they call it Russian emerald, okay, but it is chrome diopside, Ooh. but it, this comes from Madagascar. Um, if you, you can't even, um, the Russian uh, material is very, very, very limited. This is really limited. I've this is a new it. mine find. And then you've got uh, that beautiful Zambian amethyst. Oh, it's so pretty, and it's been very popular. This was appraised. Look at that, and that was the lowest price we got for it, $310. Today you can bring it home, try it on. $37 to get it on your neck. Remember, we have buy more and save with J. King right now, so you'll pay one uh, shipping and handling, the highest price shipping and handling, and then all the other J. King goodies are coming half price shipping and handling. Uh, we're moving on to our amethyst bead necklace and earring set. Yes, you're getting three feet of glittering, beautiful, highest quality amethyst on that strand. 36 inches, and you get the matching earrings. It is a customer pick, and I have to say, humbly, Jay, this is probably the prettiest, most amazing saturated amethyst I've ever seen. It's gorgeous. Yeah, and this is, you know, um, just like anything, um, uh, the rough materials that, that we work with or any, anybody actually in the business works with, they're all done by grade. And they're all done, grading is done by many things. I mean, it depends on the rough, to be honest with you. It depends on that particular material. In amethyst, one of the things you look for is color, right? You don't want it dark, too dark, you don't want it too light. Although both of them have merit, depending on um, where, the, um, where the amethyst comes from. In African amethyst, if you look at it um, all the, um, up until about 10 years ago, wow, Jay. the highest grade of amethyst all came from Uruguay and from Brazil. That's where everybody was, that was the go-to place. About 10 years ago, maybe a little bit, maybe going on 12 years now to come to think of it, um, that's when they started discovering the materials in Africa. So it's fairly new that, um, that they're getting, you know, that Africa's really getting uh, highly involved in the mining of it. Um, and we're some of the best, I think actually um, in Morocco, a friend of mine, um, he still hasn't come to my, 
to my price. <laughs> <laughs> We're great friends. He they come, will. No, they come, they come all the time. They come and they come to our house. I go visit them in Morocco. Um, I, his, his name's Sala. I always, you know, I think one of these days I'm going to beat him down and he's going to sell it to me, <laughs> but he's making too much money. But he's got, um, the point is that some of the, the I think the world's best uh, amethyst is coming from Africa right now, in my personal humble opinion. Mm. Um, I love this. Look at the quality of it. This is all hand select. This is all cut from the natural crystals. Um, these are really big beads. They're very color consistent. I know it looks a little black here, but it's not. It's actually this beautiful royal purple. It, it glistens is. and glows. I mean, there's no there's no denying. You, you know how sometimes it's either too washed out, Jay, or too dark? I mean, look at Okay, look well, at see, that. this is really good. And see, you're seeing it. It's because of light. Now, see, you, you, Leslie's very good at this. Thank uh, you, actually, where, she, where she's actually putting it at the proper angle where you can actually see it. See, it's like a beautiful royal purple. Mm. And that's what you want to look at. Also, if I got this in, in we, we loop this and I show you, there are going to be inclusions in, in amethyst, natural amethyst, just the way it is, right? But they're very, very limited. This is really uh, clear and clean. Leslie can tell you, she's a GIA grad. Mm. A few years ago, the, you know, the GIA, they had to come up with a brand new test in amethyst because they were lab growing amethyst, they still are, that was so good that you couldn't tell if it was real or not. Yeah. And it was lab created. So now they had to come up with a specific test just for amethyst to guarantee that it was, because there, there's a, 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 you know, quite a difference between lab created and natural. This is all natural. This comes from the natural rough. This does come out of a, a co-op. There's actually four mines all in this one area none of them get enough material that they can be commercially viable. So what mm. they do is twice a year, they, um, they all pool together their materials, kind of like our farmers do, you know, with wheat, soybean, mm -hmm. corn, that type of thing. They pool all the resources together and then they auction it off. And then I, you know, I don't, um, it, it, you know, it, it depends on the size of it. A lot of times uh, people like me, we don't get the whole, we don't, we're not able to get it or we, you know, we, we miss out on it, we're not the high bid. And then what they do is they buy it, they color grade it, and then we buy from them. Mm -hmm. And in this case, that's what we did. We actually bought this grade of rough material, it's but we so bought it right from the mine, from the, the person who got the bid that year. I mean, this just is breathtaking. And I have to remind you, you're getting both. You get that 36 inch strand and you're getting the matching earrings as well. If you are a February baby, I promise you, you have not seen amethyst like this. I mean, it is gorgeous. They are all uh, faceted and that's all done by hand you guys they're 10 millimeter beads and they just glisten and sparkle and there's no denying it is a rich genuine purple not too dark where they look black it, they are just absolutely regal less than 200 now remain as you can see 24 dollars gets the set home and you know at this price i mean you know you're getting both of these today never a question again do these earrings match this necklace or you know or if you want to split this up you know gift the earrings to somebody you love Keep that three feet of the most amazing amethyst for yourself, but don't let this opportunity pass you by. It is close to selling out. In fact, last call right now, 672-362 is your item number. We want to show you another set on the move. Should I just pop them on? I'm going to try. Um, but take a look at what we have for you here. This is one of my favorites. We gave them a peek in the first hour. Jay, very, very popular. And look at the color on this beautiful, um, actually, this was not the one no, we showed. No, this isn't the one we showed. The oh, other one was strawberry quartz. Oh my gosh, it was so pretty. Well, this is picante agate, a little spicy, spicy. <laughs> and it is also a set, you guys, because not only do you get that strand, but you get that four drop, that four bead drop earring included for under $100. We've lost our minds, Jay. And this is <laughs> this is really cool. This is a uh, wow, um, this is actually a friend of mine in Mexico. It's got quite a story. Are we talking about this now or not? Quick We're, little peek, okay. just to mention. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, it's a really unique material. It's got a wonderful story. Some of the story I can tell you. Some of, I can't tell you. What? Oh, now you have to tell this story. <laughs> no, no. There's some of the story that I, I can't tell you. 
But I, I, I would tell you the That's portion story fair. I could tell you. I, yeah. I got to tell you, though, I mean, if you love that beautiful, vibrant color that looks great, I swear, I think on every single woman, every skin tone, every complexion, I mean, this is beautiful. You could be wearing plain head to toe white, uh, a black, uh, ivory, any color, and you pop this on, and it's just, just gorgeous, uh, lively color. They look like candy. You want to you wanna eat them. They're that pretty. Uh, and if you want them today, $20 gets this set home. Remember, you get both the strand and the matching earrings all coming your way for a $20 bill. All right, we are moving on. And I'm being warned, they're like, Les, I don't think we'll make this presentation. Appraised at $400, that was the lowest price we got back. How many did you say we had left? 160 of this three strand golden amber bead necklace. This is the lowest price we've ever been able to do. If you're a collector of amber, if you love that it's like a, a, a frozen moment in time, you have got to be ordering $46 is what you pay today and you get this treasure. And if you look at this and you see the size of it, Kate, this is really, you know, you, you really have to see it. And you see, look at the size of this, okay? This is Mondo, what I call Mondo Amber. Um, this is all the real deal. This is Ukrainian amber. Uh, well, we've done, um, these are all freeform, uh, freeform beads. So they're all freeform beads, individually hand cut. Um, it's a great look. Um, the really cool thing with amber, I like, I just like the history of it. You know, you're, you're wearing something here. Amber, by the way, is not found all over the world. There's very, very few places you can go for amber. Amber uh, right now in the last um, in the last five years has gone up five times in cost. Oh, I believe uh, it. Every year it's just crazier and crazier and crazier. Uh, I happened to three and a half years ago started developing a relationship in Ukraine, I and mean, we're so we're still able to to get material. A lot of people you can't even uh, you, it's it's almost impossible to obtain the rough, and when you do obtain the rough, uh, the you know the cost of the rough material is so expensive that all the designs that you do in it are just, it's almost cost prohibitive. Mm. So you get a big, bold look here, huge. And I would argue even with the lowest appraised value on this. 400, but they, I agree. We get three, we, we go with the lowest, but I don't know where in the heck that you could go and find mm. something for that price in, in just the regular market. Um, the only reason we're even able to even come close to what we do is we're just, you know, because we're, we go right to source. We're at source, we do all the cutting, we do all the designing, everything's done for us, and then we bring it directly here to you to sell it. There's no middlemen involved in it. Um, this is really, it's an amazing look, big, bold, and here's what's really great, especially wow, if, if you're like me, and um, I've got, I've landed on my head too many times in my life, either <laughs> horses or motorcycles, and I have uh, some crushed vertebrae in my neck. Um, if you're the person, you can't really wear something heavy around your neck, but you want that big, bold look, this is something you really might want to think about. Amber, because of, of, of how it's formed, you can do this big, bold look like this, but it's not really, really heavy. It's very, very comfortable, especially if you have neck problems. I will say too, Jay, you know, so many people selling people amber, and it's not even amber, it's right? Not, it's it, like, it, it's not well, real. Well, it's not real. And then another thing what they're doing, since, you know, amber is fossilized tree sap. That's what it is, okay? It's what they call a um, organic gemstone. That's, that's what the terminology is for it. It's 30 to 50 million years old. Mm. What they've done is now they're taking actually just pine, uh, uh, you know, sap, right? Mm -hmm. They're harding in it with a catalyst and then they cook it and then they're calling it amber. Well, yeah, it is, it, it's not amber though, okay? It right. is tree sap that yeah. has been treated, but it's not real amber. This yeah. it's it, even copal, Copal is a form of amber, but it's only three to five million years old. And a lot of copal is being sold as amber. And it technically is a form of amber, but it's a young amber. This is the real this deal. This is the real deal. This is 30 and, to 50 million years and old. And Jay, less than 100 of these left. It's a three-strand design, 18 and a quarter inches in the length, two and three-quarter inch extender. But it is the real thing. It's like wearing, you know, honey around your neck. It's golden. It's beautiful. It imparts light to your complexion. If you want it, you have got to be ordering right now. It, it truly is a collector's piece. We're about to stamp it sold out. Here's the matching earring, you guys. Final 70, if you bought any J. King pieces uh, of amber and you don't have the matching earrings, this is it. Final 70 left, it's $14 to get them home. If you want that amber bead necklace, it's $46 to get home. These are the lowest prices we've ever done. And, and, and at the end of the day, it's a snapshot in time.
It's a little piece of history frozen in time. I was at a museum with my son and he wanted a piece of amber. And I was like, we're not buying that amber because I don't know if it's amber. And they try, they were trying to charge me more for a little amber nugget that I didn't even know was real than this set of Do you know what they're ears. actually doing now too? Is they're actually doing false and they're putting like uh, bugs in the yeah. amber and selling it's it amber. Had a and, bug. It, and it's not even real. Yeah. Or you know how you can do it? You look at it's a modern insect. And by the way, it was a bug, and I'm like, there's no way. And it was a fortune. <laughs> Poor thing. We went home. I bought him a keychain. <laughs> it's got a scorpion in it, Jay. Uh, but I know it's not 30 to 50 million years old. All right, we're moving on, everybody. We will, we're will. we getting ready to stamp that sold out to this beautiful piece. And this is that multicolored chalcedony bead necklace. I mean, these are just beautiful and romantic. They were appraised modestly at $240. We were not scared scheduled to air this, but everything is selling out, Jay, so quickly. $15.98 gets at home. This, to me, screams love and romance and beauty and grace. It's gorgeous. And here you go. You know, like, um, in this, you know, what's interesting about this material, you know, uh, calcinians, they come in a myriad of colors. And you find them not in every continent, but most continents in the world. Uh, I've, you know, through my many years of travel, but they are all unique only to that one deposit. Uh, what makes this so interesting, this is one of the more interesting calcities that, I, that I, I've been able to collect and work with. It has just a vibrance to it, really a unique material. You see this, it's almost like glow in the dark. It really and here is. again, this is, not, this is not the lighting that I would choose, but mm. it's, it's the only thing that we can do when you're on air. And uh, so uh, I, if you could see, this, this, is, this almost looks like it's on fire. Okay, it almost mm. looks like, you know what it looks like? It reminds me of a, a really high-end jelly opal, but oh, it's a calcidony yeah. is what it is. And this isn't mined, this is collected. And this is, it's, it's collected in Africa. It's a friend of mine, and she has a program, which she does, is she actually tell, teaches indigenous people um, uh, in every area is different of, of things that they, they how, uh, ways that they can make a living, right? Or add to their I income by collecting. And I guarantee you, you know, there are so many people that just walk over things. If, you, if I could, took you on a field trip and then we, I will walk you through a field and you just walked over gemstones and you didn't even know it, or oh you just w walked over things that, that make beautiful, beautiful jewelry mm. and you just walked over and you never would have known about it. Um, they actually, uh, she collects these. These are collected out of um, mainly in iron ore fields and meteorite fields mm. and uh, is where they find them. And, they, and she teaches them what to look for and how to collect it. Um, there's not a lot of this material. Um, it's actually uh, quite limited, but you can see it has a very, very special, for a calcinia, it has a very, very special look. It's almost like on fire. It's almost like, it almost has pretty. the same connotation of, of a really high-end jelly opal, it but it's hard. Like it looks hard. Wet, it right? takes a polish. It does. It's you can so see, pretty. you see how it's translucent and it, and it actually glows. It gleams. It's really, really a wonderful, wonderful color. And, um, also, uh, Kate's wearing black here, so it's picking up more of the darker Isn't colors. That pretty? But if you put it on a white or if you put it on, uh, say, a lighter color, you could go with a turquoise, a purple, mm. anything that you do with this, you're going to see how it transitions through the color range. Yeah, ranges. and it's got rose uh, in there and like mauve tones and, and, and beautiful, almost like a rose quartz look, color. Look at right? even the patterns Pale that pinks. you see in this. Do you see, look at the beautiful. patterns and all that. Do you see how they're almost like they're lit? They almost look, it almost looks like what you would see in a really high end jelly opal. That's kind of the coloration oh that you look see. At that one. See the trans <gasps> translucency? Every one of them is distant. Have you noticed that? Mm. And if you get this necklace, that's not to say uh, that your necklace, when you get this, you, you're going to get the, the, the shape of this, but all of yours is going to be, they're cut from the natural rough stock. So they're all going to be one of a kind designs. They're all uniquely different in their own right. There's no two that will be totally identical. And $240 appraisal, that was the lowest we got back today. It's last call, last chance at a clearance price of $79.90 with our final quantities. All J. King is on Five Flex. And, and by the way, Teresa says, when I wear J. King jewelry, people will stare for a minute and then they reach out and touch the piece. <laughs> this, is be, this would be one of them because it almost looks wet, right? Like people would be fascinated it, by the beauty of this. And, and because of the polishing, it looks translucent. It almost feels feels like it's not real, like it, like it would be some kind of like form of opal. Mm. So we got to move on from this. Thank you for your purchases. 
and four is your item number. I have to show you one final look at this set because you have fallen in love. And you know what? Our customer is the smartest, most amazing customer. This is a set. We started with 400. We're down to 280. And you're not choosing. You're getting that picante agate, spicy agate, uh, with the matching earrings, you guys. So I popped them both on for you. This is the prettiest color. Uh, one of our customers on Facebook said it looks, it goes so well with my carnelian pieces as well. And that's just it. It's like a strawberry, uh, you know, fiery. They're just, how do you describe this color, Jay? Because. Picante. Picante. I like it. A little spicy, spicy. Uh, and it's this beautiful elongated strand. I just uh, happened to, actually, no, it's a double strand. Um, so 18 inches in the length, two and three quarter inch extender. But look at how these also look wet. And look at each bead. I mean, look at how it looks hand painted. Isn't that pretty? This, this is uh, from a, a friend of mine who mines in Mexico. And I can't tell you the whole story about this. Because <laughs> you keep I, saying that, I, but well, you know. I, I can't. I, I, I can't. I can't tell you. Um, but I will tell you this: this is a um, uh, this is a beautiful um, material. Uh, uh, like all agates, uh, you, you find agates worldwide. Every one is unique only to that deposit. There's no two agates uh, that are identical. There's people that spend their whole lives. Um, writing books about agates that travel the world and take pictures and collect agates. And there's, there's agates that are uh, highly collectible, worth a fortune. Um, this is a picante agate. He named it that because it does have uh, the color, the, like the picante color. Yeah, it has a little, almost like a little paprika, a little spice, a little strawberry. I mean, it's just so pretty. And I have to remind you, you get the necklace and the earrings for that amazing price. Uh, as we are wrapping up this show, we have to circle back to that 18 inch appetite bead necklace. Jay, to get appetite like this, this color, this grade, this rarity, I mean, to get a full strand of that. In fact, this was appraised modestly at $225. Today for $28, you get an entire strand. 18 inches in the length, two and three quarter inch extender. New today, everybody. And where is this one coming from, Jay? Okay, so this comes from Brazil, and this is a friend of mine that, um, that yeah, I buy a lot of, like, my, col my colored quartz is from him. You know, he, he has several different claims in several different mines. Um, I get a lot of my rutilated quartz from him. I used to buy all my amethyst from him at one time back, back in the the day before I got the uh, connections in the mines that I do business with in Africa. Um, but this material, I've seen it, I, I've seen it, for, he, this is one of the claims that he has in Brazil. <clears throat> this particular appetite is extremely expensive. Uh, it's, it's one of the more expensive rough materials in appetite you'll ever see. You can see it right here, it almost has like a blue topaz mm. uh, look to it. Um, it's, it's a really unique color. Uh, I don't get it. He sells this um, uh, to the real high-end market. They do a, a lot of really, they, of course, this is kind of the general grade uh, where I've used all the different grades, but the soup, they, they go through this and you've actually seen this. You probably don't know it. And uh, he sells to a lot of high-end jewelry stores and they cut it and put it in a uh, gold primarily. Right. Um, I normally uh, pass on this. I can't afford it. I mean, is I, that right? Well, I just can't afford the rough material. Now, th that doesn't mean I don't have the money. I, uh, you know, I could, I could buy it. Yeah, but the thing is, is I can't. Like, if okay, if I paid the normal price for this, the reason you haven't seen it me before, and I've seen this for over 20 years. But normally, if I bought this material from this is an active mine, active deposit. If I bought this, the price of what we're showing here would be at least double, if not triple. Gosh, um, I just, it was one of those things he needed some cash. In fact, when he, he said, look, you know, uh, I need you to buy this. And I'm like, um, I can't, I, I can't afford it. You know? And he said, and he kept going down and down until the point where he said, oh, come on, give me a break. And I said, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's so, our boy, but, Jay. Yeah, no, but we bought, you know, we, we buy the rough. So, you know, but here again, it's not like trying to be a hard guy. Okay. Mm. And, and I don't even want to buy it. If you're not making money, I don't want to buy it. But, um, cause I don't want you to go out of business, but, um, but also mm. I know what oh, I, so what beautiful. I consider a good deal. <gasps> Jay, that's like icy. I know you said this is not the neon, it, it almost, but... ha it almost has like, uh, it's not the neon <gasps> quite. I, I am, I don't want to say something, but I got a neon surprise for you later on, later on in the year, maybe the beginning wow. of next year. But this is really almost, it's funny you said that because it is close to the neon color. It really is. But it's I'm almost, like, it looks it, neon to it me. Al it almost looks like a topaz. Yeah. I, have, I have some neon material that 
literally, if we were sitting here and we turned off all the lights, you could still see it. Do you, and, <laughs> and, and it's just icy? It's like, Isn't it's it, like it, what? It does, it, you know, it does like have that icy crystalline. Yeah, it almost, like you know what it looks like? a glacier, It right? looks like glacier ice. Yes. I was just in Alaska. And um, oh when we were gosh. on the boat, they actually, at night, they pulled out some glacier ice to, and I, I just used club soda. They were putting something else over it, but I, <laughs> I, I, I just used club Jay, soda. this looks like and your it was eyes. very nice. It, like and it is blue, eyes. blue. It's it, so it, pretty. You know, you could call this like blue ice. It, it does have that blue icy look to and it. And you know what's great? You know, everything J. King is on five flex. So you pay $28 today. And because of buy more and save, you'll pay one high, uh, the highest price shipping and handling on one J. King item. All your other J. King goodies are half price on the shipping and handling. So treat yourself today start thinking ahead to holiday with these great sale prices and you know when you want a unique story to tell when you want something rare maybe you don't you know spend a lot of money on your clothing or fashion this is how you accessorize and you got that wonderful story to tell and of course nobody brings us stuff like jay king so jay thank you very much thank for spending these three hours fun. with me three hours three hours, three hours. <laughs> but we learned so much you know what it's like an easy day at work i could just listen to him all day colleen's up next everybody thank you for shopping de los adiós. Hi everybody, I'm Colleen Lopez. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. So nice to have you with us because the Jean Queen Diane Gilman is in the house and we have her very first ever car.